Hello, everybody, and welcome to a quick look at the new Jurassic World Alive update that's going to be coming. Uh, yes, I may be coming back to Jurassic World Alive. I know, crazy! Um, they've released this on the Jurassic World page, or the actual YouTube page. Um, I have no idea why they have their own page, but, I mean, this gets more light to it, I suppose. Um... But, I'm, I mean, this looks really good. Uh, so, there is... I got not too long ago... I They sent me, like, a build so I could playtest the, um, the new, like, boss mechanics and stuff. However, I didn't do it! I'm still not happy with them. <laughs> but, uh, to be fair, I just forgot about it. Um, and this... they I mean, you can basically see it here in this trailer. So, let's first have a reaction and talk about it. Because they did release press notes. Uh, I think they've released it officially on... On their forums as well as they've sent it uh, to my email and we'll have a look through the pdf as well but there is so much so much to digest it really is i will skim through it but if you want you can pause on all the stuff and check it out there or even just i'll put you know, links in the description too if you want to read it through yourself so here it is this is the new boss raid um so your world is about to get bigger Gameplay and rewards may vary. Dinos boss dinosaurs are on the way. So, Mortem Rex. So, hold on. Let's just pause that there. Mortem Bloomin' Rex. This is an apex. So, it's like a boss dinosaur. And if we, if we skip backwards a little bit, it's it's a new thing. So, we, we did think for a while. It's a Godzilla. It's a Godzilla T-Rex. <laughs> That's all it is. Um, and I like how this, this account has 80 darts out of 140. You obviously haven't been playing much. <laughs> you should have one million dots. Uh, so we were we were wondering, like, is there going to be a new class? Like, do you have to fuse a unique with something? Because that would be mental, the amount of uh, of time that would cost. I'm sure it would be some sort of microtransaction, eh? Hey, Ludia? Hey? <laughs> um, so this looks like you can find it and dart it. I mean, this looks like a dart. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you can dart them if you find them. But I, I think it's a battle. So here we go. So the Morden Rex boss. So it's not like an incubator or a sanctuary. It's just a dinosaur on the map. And I think then, depending on if, if you find it, you get close enough, you can raid it. Now, I'm, I don't know whether it says public or private. So I'm assuming that anyone, it says anyone in the world, I guess that means friend list or... Uh, alliance. I remember saying to Ludia ages ago, I want multi-battles. I want, like, multiple dinosaurs fighting each other. And they've delivered! That I think my, uh, my, my little tantrum of not covering the game <laughs> has worked. <laughs> so, raid invitations, there you go. Billy! I'm guessing that's a little easter egg. Cr what was that? Create or join a team. Create or join a team with anyone in the world. Okay. Anyone. That's interesting. Now, I'm assuming it's friends and stuff. So choose your creature and prepare for attack. Work together to defeat the boss dinosaur. Defeat the boss. And we got another place. Oh, this looks so cool. So, oh my god. And already I'm flipping confused. Within two seconds, I went from yes to... <laughs> UI is mental. Now, I get what they're doing. I get what they're trying to do. Now, if you've ever seen my Rise of Burke, by the way, Ludia, Rise of Burke, I've lost my account. I tried to log in. I was like, oh, let's cover the new thing. It's gone. Don't know what happened. So if you could maybe help out. <laughs> um, but on the right, the same with Rise of Burke, this is the order which people will go in. So starting from the top to the bottom, and it'll move up. So first is the... Um, Tojarasaurus, is that it? And then Magnetator, and then Tristornix, and then Tonotosaurus Rex. In that order. Um, and now this is where we see the uh, the team effects come in. So you can see you've got a speed boost uh, for everybody. That I think that spread little icon in the bottom of that icon with an icon uh, means that everybody gets that boost. Yeah, increase speed so everybody gets that. And then I think that the magnetator means they lower their speed and then they gain attack. So here we go. So he does his thing. How much damage is that? What? What? How much damage is that? That's 227 million damage. Okay, obviously this is not, you know, they haven't, they're just showing this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And then, oh, hold on. Mortem, Mortimer Rex. What did he do there? Godzilla Rex. He did like a really... 
Immune to HP changes, primal tail whip affects everybody and it's like a defense, just a defense attack, you know, not shattering. Is it shattering? I can't remember. It's not a rampage. Oh, we got a crit as well. Uh, and then, oh, we don't get to see what that does. You got the speed up and then again, a massive amount of damage. Um, I don't know whether you can just target the T-Rex the like in the middle. Um, oh, there you go. You win. We're, we're going through an age at the moment where it's... Um, like Pokemon, you've got all these raid battles, like the, you know, you can do that and then uh, it's, it's all happening. Um, I, I think this is a really good idea. So this is how you will obviously defeat um, this dinosaur or collect it. So you get the incubator, earn special rewards, collect raid boss DNA. Um, oh, so it's not, you know, it's going to be all random stuff. It's not just going to be, oh, only for this new Apex stuff. Uh, obviously this is, it's like their version of legendaries in Pokemon. So instead of Lugia or Articuno, you've got uh, Mortimer Rex or Mort Mortem Rex or something. Thing. Um, so it's not just, you know, really good prizes. You're going to get stuff like Sinoceratops. And, you, know, you might get the odd uniques, but um, I mean, and these rewards are going to be, you know, changing. Is that, is that it? That's surely not just it, is it? Boss raids coming. So we've got, as of this video going live, we've got three days till this comes out. Uh, so there you have it. That is uh, the end of the trailer, but we have a we've got so much guys Every dinosaur has been changed in this game and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So here we go. We'll go into uh, Release so these are all the dinosaurs that are being changed I really think that Ludia needs to fix this because I look at this and I go I have no idea what you're talking about here. And this, I'll tell you what I mean. So we've got Lanqua superiority strike changed to resilient strike that makes sense. Okay, I get that. Then when you get stuff like this, attack changed to a thousand. What was it before? <laughs> what was it? It's changed to a thousand, but uh, up or down? I don't know. They need to add like attack changed or lowered by 200 or something like that. You know, having red 1,500 and then the new one or something like that. Um, so really, um, I'm just going to skip to Interrupted Gen 2 because people told me that Interrupted Gen 2 has changed. Oh, what's this? Diplovinator. Roll counter attacker changed to reduce damage. Defense shattering rampage changed to distracting impact. 1.5 damage, if I remember correctly, and he'll do... Distracting impact. I think that's 50% attack re reduction. Immune to distraction, change to none. Oh, here we go. Strike and run, change to distracting impact. Cloak, change to cloak. Okay. Uh, immunity, change to none. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Do you mean, like, it's immunity isn't changed. Is that what you're trying to say? An Indoraptor still has immunity to attack. You need to clarify this a little. Immunity changed to none. What, what do you mean? Like, is it changed to nothing or immunity unchanged? What does that mean? <laughs> you give me all this information. So you will no longer be able to get a free hit off with Earl Dominus and get out and get a switch. That's interesting. Attack changed to 1,500. No idea. Critical chance changed to 40%. I think it was only like 20% or 30 at a push. So now he's got even more, uh, more uh, crit chance. Ooh, that's going to be dangerous, especially with that rampage. You're basically guaranteed to get two times damage plus 50% or whatever it is. Magnetator, here we go. Class, fierce change to fierce and cunning. Armor piercing change to jack of all trades? Okay. Immunity change to none. That, so no, Interruptor still is. Well, don't even say it's changed to none. That, that's so confusing. Okay, so Interruptor is still usable, but he can't go for the big, like, defense shattering. Basically means if you've got armor, you're going to still, like, so for dinosaurs like Trichosaurus, they can still take it on. So that's good. Uh, attack change to 1,450. Don't know what that means. At HP changed to 3,900. I don't know what it was before, man. Anyway, on to better things, because you could go through there and look through every dinosaur. So I now have a friggin' 32 page document <laughs> of all the fixes that have been done. And I mean, you can pause the video, you can change it as you see. So here we go. This is the raids overview. 
locating raid bosses. Raid bosses will be roaming freely in your neighborhood and you lo can you locate them directly from your map. Once you're within range, tap on it to create a raid lobby. Then invite your friends and alliance mates to join. Okay, that's good. Please note players don't always need to be in your vicinity to join your lobby. So in other words, if you've got alliance members all over the world, which you probably do, let's be fair. Come on, this isn't the Pokemon Go community. <laughs> You're going to be able to, you know, it would be cool to have that sort of thing where you all go and like, let's do a raid on this thing. Let's get together. Uh, but it seems like maybe they're going to be more random and sporadic rather than, okay, it's Monday. You're going to get a raid or, but you never know. Maybe, maybe we'll see that. Raid bosses remain on the map for 24 hours and do not disappear after being defeated. They could be challenged again immediately. Bosses will change and reposition every morning at dawn based on your local time and position. You will recognize this pattern to be similar to creatures that only spawn on specific specific days, such as Triceratops on Sundays. Raid bosses follow the same logic. The difference is that they stay at the same location for 24 hours from dawn to dusk, unlike normal creatures that stay only for a few minutes before moving on. For this reason, it's possible to be invited by a friend to a raid boss from another time zone that is not currently available to you at your location. Doing so will count toward your reward limit. Uh, oh, you've got a reward limit for that boss for the week. Oh, okay. So you're probably going to maybe do two or three battles of the same one before you reach your limit. I would assume. I would assume. Maybe it's just one. Like, maybe for lower creatures like a Sinoceratops, you can do a couple of battles with it. But for the, the Apex, you can probably only win the Incubator once, I would assume. So there you go. You got the lobby. Um, and of course, victory rewards. A new type of creature is here. Apex creatures are beginning to inhabit Jurassic World Alive. These creatures are larger than most other rarities. And they use their size to assert dominance over the map. It's up to members of the blah, 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 blah. They have even greater potential power than that of the game's current rarity, so they're better than uniques. They are the next one then. They are threatening adversaries. Only the bravest and most advanced DPG teams are equipped to defeat them. Apex DNA can only be collected by defeating an Apex boss in a raid. So you're not going to be able to put it in a sanctuary, let's just say, which I guess makes sense. You're not going to dart it either. Right, okay. So it does appear that you don't have to take out like the main boss. Every round, these creatures either recover their health, like, or do something else, I think they said. So at the top, as you can see here, there is a total health. So it's 43,534. And this is, I guess, uh, like what you've got to defeat. You've got to defeat, you've got, no, you've got to inflict that much damage in order to defeat it. And you've got turn one of 20. And there's also like one and two bars of health. So I assume when you take that down, then there's another bar or like something else that happens. Each player uses a single creature. This creature will be that user's ca uh, character for the raid. So you choose one. That's it. That's your dinosaur. Again, a bit like Pokemon raids. If that creature dies, the user spectates the rest of the match, however. Sorry. However, they can still take part in all the fun by expressing themselves by using emotes. Oh god, we're gonna get new emotes. We're gonna get new emotes. Oh, I can't wait for them to be spammed. I've already turned them off. If you haven't turned off emotes, do it. You will live your life way happier, trust me. <laughs> Since there is only one creature per user, this means that swaps do not work in raids. This means that add run abilities will not trigger. This also means that swap out abilities do not trigger on any escapes. Okay, swap in doesn't work. In order for the entire team to win rewards, there will need to be at least one player creature that is still standing when the boss dies. Oh, so you do take out the boss then. Sorry, the boss just has tons of health. Uh, so you probably have to take it out twice then. Uh, if we look at that image, yeah, it looks like he's got he's got two lives. He's got This is his first bar of health, and then he's got another bar of health. Um, it also looks like maybe this is difficulty, the six at the top right. That could be, that could be the case. Okay, so this is actually kind of good. Um, so now, instead of you thinking, oh, how many turns has it got left? Like, you know, you know when you do, like, decelerate rating for two turns or whatever it is and you might forget in fact i've had it in a few situations where it's glitched and they didn't last for as long but anyway now you can check uh exactly like the creature's uh 50 nerf or whatever you've done on it and not only does it tell you how many attacks you know how many turns are left but it gives you the percentage so like 
If you look up here, you've got the red uh, numbers that dictate exactly how much attack it has. So it's not like, so it used to be you'd click on the dinosaur and if you'd done 50%, you know, it doesn't do as much 50% uh, attack. You'd have to calculate in your own head and be like, da -da -da, oh, do, do I have that much health left? If it's a crit, uh. you can just look at it now and it'll tell you. So that is really useful. That's good. That, I gave Ludia that. That's that's a that's a needed thing. Oh, okay. So here we go. Long protection, for instance, uh, attack one thousand, but it keeps their fifty percent shield for four attacks lasting four turns. But if you would attack it four times and in just one turn, it will go. That's good. They, they've definitely thought about this. So now we got resistances. So we used to have that. It was like immunity to a certain thing. But here you go. Taunt. This creature can always attack any opponent. This creature cannot receive additional damage from a vulnerability. And 50% speed. This creature's speed is less reduced by speed decreases. So, oh my god. We've got like... Not only do you have to think about, okay, I'm going to decrease that creature's speed. It's like, well, if I decrease its speed... It'll only decrease by 25% when it would normally be 50% because it's got a 50% resistance to that. It's complicated, but it's going to be one of these things where... I mean, this is, of course, just for raid battles. I don't know if this applies for actually PvP. Um, it, it's, it's definitely going to be its own thing. They've put a lot of effort into this. I like where it's going. I do like this idea a lot. Here we go! Stat boost reset with the plethora of creature and ability changes that come with Jurassic World 2.0. Each creature's stat boost will be refunded to the owner's player pool of stat boost points. Tip, before applying all your stat boosts back, take the time to observe how each creature has been updated. Take the time to look at raids and consider if you should customize a couple of raid-specific creatures. And then you've just got all of these different attacks. So you've got like Fear Strike and I think these are all for the raid stuff. Anyway, here we go. On to new creatures. Deinonychus, uh, which looks like it's going to be a common. Extreme speed, high damage and very low HP. Even lower than a raptor? Oh god. Okay, so this looks like it could be the new like... Raptor. Uh, maybe it'll even be in a meta. I don't know. Uh, represented by evasive strike. Oh, okay. Uh, the Hast Eagle. Interesting that they're, I mean, I do, I mean, they could easily just put the Pteranodon animation on that. I'm assuming that might be what they do. It would suck if they did, but I, it's an easy route, right? If they spent all their time on this, I don't mind it. If it's a different animation, I like I'll flap my wings. <laughs> if it's a different animation, I don't mind. Um, so this eagle is free. Like it's bigger, brother. It does a. What do you mean it's free? Like, do you get it for free? Okay. 100% uh, resistance to swap prevention. It has very low HP, extreme speed, and average damage. Okay, so it's definitely going to be used for a hybrid. Adaphosaurus. Okay. Adaphosaurus has the following resistance it's resistant to stun, damage over time, vulnerability, and deceleration. Whoo! The stun's good, the deceleration's good. And the bleed resistance is good as well. That's that's really good. 75% um, against swap prevention. 50% against rend, distraction, critical. So, yeah, it looks like you've just... Not only do you have, like, 100% resistances, now you have 50% resistances. Oh, this is, this is gonna be so, like, so much to take in. Uh, Hast Eagle. Um, again, very low HP, extreme speed. The Mortem Rex. This is the Apex. Is the first apex rarity creature to enter the battle arena. It has access to raw, fierce impact, uh, fierce rampage, and cleansing impact. I like how it's raw. So we've literally got a Pokemon move in there now. <laughs> Mortem Rex has 100% deceleration resistance, 75% to stun and swap uh, prevention resistances, and 50% to uh, bleed and vulnerability. It is the first creature to surpass Tyrannosaurus's base damage value. It has high HP and low speed. It has an extreme crit chance. But they don't say what the crit chance is. No, more Rex isn't there. It was worth a shot. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. But there you go. 100% crit chance. 75% uh, stun and swap prevention. Okay. 
We got a new unique uh, Dracoceratosaurus. Mixing the genes of Dracoceratops with a Proceratosaurus. Dracoceratus is a unique creature that features the iconic swap in savagery while being 100% resistant to swap prevention. Okay, I don't know what that image is. It looks like Utah Sin wrapped it with more feathers. It trades its Dracoceratops ancestry fierce abilities for cunning ones. Indeed, Dracoceratosaurus has cunning strike, cunning impact, acute stun, and cleansing impact. Its attributes are very similar to its Dracoceratops parents, but it has a bit more speed. Ooh, okay, so it's Dracoceratops and Proceratosaurus. It's gonna be a big update. We're gonna see like new metas come out, new lists, the raids look great. Um, only thing I really wish now, because it looks like they've like, boosts were put in the game to spice it up, right? Because everything was the same. Every team you thought was the same. It was predictable. Now they're adding in like 75% stun resistance. So you, you might resist it, but you might not. Whereas it was 100% or you would before. So I think you don't need the boosts at the moment. Just have that. That's the answer. Like stuff like that. Um, but I, as far as I'm aware, it looks like boosts aren't going anywhere. They're here to stay. Um, but we're going to get new dinosaurs. We're going to get raids battles, which is good. Because anything that like takes me away from doing PvP. I hate PvP. Tournaments are fun. Uh, darting dinosaurs is fun. Scents are fun. Raid battles looks like fun. Sanctuaries are fun. PvP just... I, I don't enjoy PvP. I really don't. Um... I, I, and I, what they need to do, they haven't said it, but hold on, I'll, I'll go into like fixes because it didn't seem like they brought it up at all here. Nah, it's not there. So I, I, when you do PVP, if it times out, like 20, you got 25 seconds and within 25 seconds, if you don't get a battle, you can fight AI and get an incubator. That's the next thing. Have a choice. Have it PVP or just like incubator fights. You probably get a lot less people doing PVP, but at least then they're accepting like, okay, I'm going into this with the mindset that it's going to be boosts. Like I'm going to lose. But if they just want to just rattle through incubators, they can do it. And it'll help towards the Alliance missions. But anyway, guys, this is a way longer video than I thought it was going to be. Good God. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, keep a hold of your Dracoceratops DNA. Because we're about to see a whole new meta that has that dinosaur in. <laughs> Rejoin and leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye